First on 11 this Sunday, problems on the Chattahoochee River continue tonight as E. coli contamination is keeping people off the waterway. And now we have a likely source for all of that sewage. It's been a mess on the Chattahoochee for several days now, all of it coming at one of the busiest times for the river. We begin tonight with 11 Alive's Teresa Bowles, who spent today on the river. And Teresa, you learned tonight there is a plan to clean it up. Well, that's right, Latasha. Yesterday, you had to avoid 11 miles. That's going up to 15 miles today. Still, before the rain came in, there was quite the crowd at the Chattahoochee River. So if you still have plans to go out there for Independence Day, you can, but I learned you have to stay in a specific safe area. Fourth of July weekend is usually the perfect time to go down the river, have a good time. But a sewage spill has put a damper on Josh Smith's plans. They told us to come up here because that was like above everything that was going on. What's going on is water quality tests showed that E. coli levels are at almost 300 times the Environmental Protection Agency's recommended limit. And now we know why. The source of the sewer spill is coming out of the Big Creek wastewater treatment plant, which is operated by Fulton County. Chattahoochee Riverkeeper Jason Olseps, whose job it is to protect and preserve the river, says it's a violation of the Clean Water Act. And here's what went wrong. There is a malfunction at the treatment plant, so the sewage that's coming through the process and then getting into the river has not received its full treatment and therefore has some high levels of E. coli, which has caused this mess. Olseth says the Department of Natural Resources qualifies this as a major spill. As far as the environmental effects, dissolved oxygen levels are typically at 9 milligrams per liter. It dropped down to 5. We have seen depleted oxygen levels going downstream of the spill, but we have not documented uh, to this time anything that's dangerous. What is dangerous is for visitors to go into the water from the Chattahoochee Nature Center to Powers Island and Paces Ferry. Olseth says crews are starting the disinfecting process. All of that E. coli is dead to the Army Corps of Engineers, and they're going to be sending some more water than they had anticipated tonight to help dilute the remaining part of the spill. However, Olseth says Beaver Dam to Oregon Falls Lake and the Nature Center is safe, and that's good enough for the tons of visitors Sunday and for Smith. There's a lot of stuff coming at me. I feel like E. coli is not going to be the thing that gets me. <laughs> no, no, no. I did reach out to the plant and Fulton County. No response yet, but Olseth says they're working with the county to clean this up. We should start to see an improvement in the water quality in the coming days, and the team will be testing the water tomorrow with the results coming in the next day. All right, thank you, Teresa. For more details on this story and the latest developments, visit our website at 11alive.com.